Brian, did you hear what's going on with YouTube? I don't know if you heard about this. I don't know if you've seen it anywhere. It's kind of been kind of been under the radar, I'd say. Um, Jim, would you be referring to a certain Logan Paul? No, I know. We're not going to talk about that. You're talking about the monetization bullshit. Fuck. <laughs> but, Brian, it's all Logan Paul's fault. Everything that's going on is exactly his fault and his alone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he, he's the reason all the ISIS channels are getting taken down. It's all his fault. So he's a hero? So Would someone call him a hero at that point? Maybe we should all be thanking him. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Obviously, since we can't make our 20 bucks a month out of this anymore, we're going to shut down the page after this podcast. This is the tail end of the site, and we will never do this again. <laughs> you can all go fuck yourselves. <laughs> yeah, so that was a really, uh, I don't know, I read into that thing. I think it obviously sucks for smaller YouTubers in general. It's hard enough to make it. I've been seeing some back and forth. Jim and I have been very open. We do this page trick. It's not at all by any means uh, our main source of income or even a supplementary it's <laughs> we do this strictly for fun and we get like some people might start looking at this as the source of their income especially if you're doing this like right out of high school or in college or even in high school but i mean i don't know the way jim and i have always looked at it it's since it's not your primary source of income if you can make some good money off it awesome but i I guess it does make sense to kind of vet instead of having a million people make a hundred bucks a year, you just kind of save the revenue. Maybe it increases revenue for people who do have a little bit higher viewership. Um, it just sucks, and it, I think in general, it, it will hurt the smaller channels. But at the same time, maybe it vets out the people. Like I, I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't do YouTube if you're only doing it for the money. Like I, I think that's a terrible driver to start a channel. You know, me and Jim, we did it just to dick around and be, have an excuse to play video games, review it the way we enjoyed, and honestly get drunk together and look like idiots. Um, so, yep. yeah, it's it's a weird thing, but I think it was inevitable. More and more, I, th I wouldn't be shocked if you actually see content being vetted, like, at a much higher level, like they are doing now with the highest channels, and almost like a, think of it like a ratings board for movies. Um, I wouldn't be fully shocked because as YouTube gets more and more about like original content and this and that and family friendly, it's going to go down that path eventually. So what do you think? I Jim? just, I'm so, I'm so sick of the phony outrage. Like I know some people out there are really affected by it, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> like I know this is probably an unpopular opinion, but if you're not hitting these milestones, and we're not even hitting the 4,000 hours thing, we probably will get demonetized for a while until the viewership or whatever picks up. And who gives a shit? You're not making a living off in any way at those numbers. So why are you that... Uh, I mean, yeah, like, your couple bucks a month here and there is nice to have, but it's it's not a killer. Now, some people are saying that maybe it'll affect your search engine results and stuff like that, which, yeah, that's, that's annoying. That's definitely going to cause problems for channels, but... Uh, it's just YouTube trying to... YouTube's never turned a profit. Besides content creators, the only people who've ever made a dime off YouTube are the guys who sold it to Google. So they got to do something. It's not sustainable. So, I mean, the company's got to do something, and this is their idea. So, I don't know. I think I'm just sick of the bitching already, and it's only been two days. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like definitely no agree with you about, like, people are, like, I think going, and especially, I always kind of find it funny, I mean, if you want to call it the white knights of this, but, like, the YouTubers that are big enough that aren't affected by this, it's like, calm down. Don't don't start acting like, yeah, I'm fighting right alongside you. This really is a small YouTuber yeah, you're thing. Not. That's the people that, that's the only people that are affected. But to Jim's point, if you ain't getting those type of views, you're probably not generating enough where it makes that big of a difference. As far as affecting your search engine stuff, it's hard to say this, but if you're not making good enough content to be searched, then it's like, you know, you shouldn't rely on YouTube to just get your name out there for you. Jim and I, I mean, still, we've done this for four years now. Like, we're by no means the best. We're by no means the this or that. And we get still get a tiny percent of actual YouTube you know, if you want to call it advertisement, that'll show up on people's random videos. Otherwise, it's been word of mouth. It's a very slow crawl, and, you know, some people really like us. Some probably are like, ah, it's just another video game, you know, review channel. Uh, 
it, 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 it should be interesting to see what the fallout is, but I can just tell you, for anyone out there that's hoping this is going to revert back, it's not. It will only revert the oh. other way. It's only going to get more and more stringent, but you know what? If this gets rid of all those like people who make a dozen sock puppet accounts to re-upload other people's stuff and put in 15 advertisements in the middle of it, good. Get them out of here. Like, I get that crap off here, and you know what? Yeah, it's going to sound like a dick thing, but if people aren't sticking around because they're not going to make their little pittance, it's only going to help a channel like me not having other channels around taking up space. So, yeah, you know, it's not going to stop us from doing what we're doing. We're going to be here anyway, whether we make money or not, like we said. So yeah. if it gets rid of a bunch of garbage, then you know what? Sometimes you got to take out the trash, right? Yeah. Yeah. So obviously comments below. Let us know what you think. Jim, like he said, I'm sure our our opinion might be a little bit less unpopular. Uh, as YouTubers, if you're watching us, chances are you are a YouTube channel creator. And hey, if you love it and you're doing it for the right reason, then this will not stop you. This will just kind of drive you to try to do better so you can hit those milestones. So maybe one day you could make a little supplementary income off of this. Good luck to you guys if you're trying to do that. Yep, exactly. <laughs>